Statue Hunter 75 here with a special review for statueforum.com for a new product from the good folks over at Kotobukiya. Um, this is the catalog they were giving out at the New York Comic Con which shows a lot of their new stuff coming out. I thought I'd just let you guys see the pages of it for those of you that weren't able to make the New York Comic Con. You might have already seen my video on the Kotobukiya booth and I went, you know, kind of quick because I was in a rush. But I just wanted to show you some of the stuff in the catalog that I'm really excited about. Especially the Bijujo statues from Kotobukiya. Um, we see the She-Hulk. That's one I'm very, very excited about. And then obviously we see some uh, others like Wasp and Jubilee. But I'm very excited for the She-Hulk. I saw her in person at the... Uh, booth for Kotobuki and the paint job was fantastic. I'm also very excited of course for the Street Fighter line. One in particular that I saw there was Jury. Here you only see Shinya Yamashita's artwork but they had the actual product on display at the um, at the New York Comic Con. You can see it in my video review of their booth and uh, it was just amazing. Very excited. Here's some new ones coming out for uh, <clears throat> you Tekken fans out there. Anna Williams and Nina Williams. And of course, uh, available now, Jun Kazama. Bujujo actually means beautiful girl in Japanese. Another line that Kotobukiya offers that's very, very cool is their Art Effects line. And we see some stuff coming out for Halo, especially with the up-and-coming release of the new Halo game for the next-gen consoles. I'm sure that's going to be a big seller. But I've, uh... Oh, one other stuff, one other thing that I'm excited about is the lightsaber chopsticks. I'm a huge fan of eating sushi, and, uh, I love these light-up chopsticks. I actually own the Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader ones that are already out. Um, but now it looks like they're coming out with Mace Windu and Yoda, which is pretty cool. I'll be picking those up. I'm a geek when I eat my sushi. <laughs> And, of course, I've reviewed this as well, the Mara Jade. Big fan of that. Um, I never got the Jaina Solo. Hope to acquire it one day. But that's the Star Wars Bijojo art effects line. And something I'm not really familiar with, Attack on Titan. So I really won't speak of that that I'm not familiar with. And this is just more stuff near the end. I'm very excited for these two, the Freddy Krueger and um, Jason Voorhees, Freddy vs. Jason, Bijojo, based on the artwork of Shinya Yamashita. I can't wait to see these. On to what I'm about to do a review of for you is the DC line. And it's that piece right there, the Starfire Bijojo statue, which is retailing at $69.99. And let me tell you, it is well worth it. Um, very excited to see this piece in person. It's beautiful. We see some more DC stuff. I'm not trying to go through too quick, but at the same time, I do want to get on to the review for you. And there's some uh, Batman by Bob Kane, 75th Anniversary Commemorative Limited Edition. And then of course, coming soon, we have the Batman Arkham Knight game. Very excited for that. And the last page is something also I'm very excited to acquire is the Artifacts Wonder Woman statue. It looks beautiful. I have. Uh, the Superman and the Batman that you see pictured there already. But very excited for her. Very, very excited for her. And she'll be retailing at $119.99. Okay, on to the review. Okay, here's the review. i uh, got a nice little DC backdrop for you folks today. Um, and this is a review of one I'm very excited about. I'm actually showing you her in the package first before I review her in detail. It's the DC Comics Bijujo Starfire. And I love how Kotobukiya presents them in the in the you know the clamshell kind of plastic with the open window so you can see the product in the box too. Some people may even want to display this with the beautiful art of Shunya Yamashita while it's in the box because you can still see the product. I personally take them out and display them. I'll show you my display of my Bijujos at the end of the video, but you should see the artwork and it's so beautiful. Such a fan of Shinya Yamashita's, and I've been waiting for this character Starfire for quite some time. So happy the good folks at Kotobukiya have come out with her. Now we see the other side of the box with more of the artwork of Shinya Yamashita. I'm liking this pose, I'm liking everything about this piece. Alright, let's get her out of the box. 
All right, now we take a look at Starfire in all of her beautiful Bijujo glory. Uh, this PVC piece is just one fantastic little lady. The paint application is phenomenal. The sculpt is superb. Very, very pretty. Very beautiful. Very exotic looking. Starfire is very well known for having a ridiculous amount of hair. Um, for those of you that know the DC Universe and know the character, and um, they portrayed it beautifully with this PVC plastic. I, I love how Kotobukiya started implementing like lightening up the tips of the hair, and sometimes in some pieces they even use the clear resin um, or clear PVC, like they did in um, the Phoenix, which was a really nice uh, application of that. This sculpt is just <laughs> so sexy. It's insane. I like what they did about, you know, putting like the clear heel to kind of like make it, you know, stay balanced. Um, it is a little top heavy due to the, her hair and maybe other things, but <laughs> it, it stays in place. Uh, she is just phenomenal. Like, I can't get over how much her her eyes the green in the eyes is just beautiful just the face the sculpt in the face is phenomenal let me try and get you a really close up of what I'm talking about just looks beautiful the paint application is phenomenal there's not a line out of place on her bra or you know the, the clasps on her arms her lipstick her eyes everything looks perfect Beautifully applied. The shading of the orange and everything is just phenomenal. You can see her wobbling a little. She is a little top heavy. Uh, the shading on her backside is beautiful. The shimmery purple paint, metallic paint, very cool, very cool. The base is amazing too, like, you know, with the almost like lunar rock. Very, very nice job. I can't get over the, the sculpt, the flow of the hair, too. Just an amazing piece. I mean, these things just get sexier and sexier. And I was very happy with this piece, because... <clears throat> not to... Uh, I don't know. Not to sound a bit of a perv, but this character is known for having a well-endowed bust. And... Uh, on their past Bijujos, like the, I believe, Liara Tassoni um, from the Mass Effect video game, <laughs> they had a prototype where it looked something like this, and then they kind of reduced the upper portion, so to speak, and uh, I was a little disappointed because the prototype looked way better, but I guess the uh, licensor didn't want it, uh, you know, Bioware or whoever makes Mass Effect, maybe they, they didn't want it, so they, uh, Kotobukiya, like... <laughs> Gave her a, a breast reduction, so to speak. And uh, I thought the original looked a lot better. But this piece, I'm very pleased to say, did not have that happen. So she looks great. Very much like the character Starfire. I couldn't be more happy with this piece. So glad to have it in my collection. Um, I'm going to give you some statue form scores now for my review. I feel that the sculpt on this piece is a perfect 10. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I love the pose. Very, very nice. Uh, for paint and mixed media, you can see the shadowing and the shading of everything. There's nothing wrong with the paint. Even the paint on the base is applied nicely. The hair with the highlights is just phenomenal. So I'm going to give it another perfect 10. Design now. Um, <clears throat> I did take points off. Unfortunately, because it is, like I said, it's a little top heavy. You can see her wobbling a little bit. So, you know, I mean, when you have it displayed, it's not going anywhere. But God forbid if someone bumps into, like, your display cabinet or something. Who knows? Um, so I did take a little point off, and I gave it a 9. I really don't want to penalize this. such an amazing statue for that. Because it does stand up fine when you, when you, when you, you know, display it permanently. But, you know, it, maybe they could have been a little more forward in the design here with the rock to hold her, you know, the weight of her hair. So I did give it a 9. And then for production, build quality, gave it a 10.
So overall for our grand total score for her for Starfire today, she's going to get a 9.75, which is a very, very, very good score for a very, very, very nice piece. Well worth the money. Like I said, these are very affordable. This retails at $69.99, which is, is an excellent price for something of this beauty. And this is just a piece of art to me at least. I love it. Some people don't like the smaller scale Bijujo products, but I, I find them phenomenal. I have a great collection of them, and I, I'm very happy with them. I love Shunya Yamashita's art. I even have a few of his art books, which are quite costly to fetch on eBay. Um, one other thing I do want to let you know is um, <clears throat> I was even talking with Jerry Macaluso at the New York Comic Con, and he said Kota Bukia is knocking out of the ballpark, and they're really impressing him, which is very high praise coming from the... Uh, owner of a uh, established company like Pop Culture Shock Collectibles as well. So, you know, they, they make some amazing products and, and he was thoroughly impressed with Koto Bukir and their uh you know, their P V C pieces and their smaller scale pieces and you know, even their larger pieces. So he couldn't give nothing but high praise for them. So that was pretty impressive and kudos to Koto Bukia. They've really upped their game. They're becoming one of the big players in the statue game right now. So if you'll hold one second I'll be right back and show you my whole Bijujo collection all lined up. Okay guys, here's my updated Bijujo collection to date. I still have to uh, unbox and review the Spider Woman uh, from Marvel for the Bijujo from Kotobukiya. But we see I have Starfire X-23 from Marvel, Mystique from Marvel, or Sony from Mass Effect. Uh, a few Tekken pieces in the back. Um, and also uh, the beautiful and lovely Power Girl. Which is another big favorite of mine from DC. Very happy to have Power Girl and my newest acquisition, Starfire, in my DC collection. Oh, also can't forget my prize collection up here. You know, my two Emma Frost, the Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con Diamond exclusive, the regular, and then of course the uh, Dark Phoenix, which I love. These are <laughs> going for great money on eBay nowadays, too. They're very sought after. So, that's it. That's my Bijujo collection. Oh, one other thing just to show you. My Shunya Yamashita collection, too. Uh, a few of those pieces. But that's everything. So, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Have a good day.